Welcome back. We take things to campus yep, now. The tailgaters go. out in full force today, yesterday, excuse me, as Salisbury U celebrated his homecoming with the chance to take the lead in the conference up against Christopher Newport and a big crowd at Seagull Stadium to see the boys in maroon and gold who after yesterday would remain as the only unbeaten team in the NJAC conference. Why is that? Not really sure because this game started off slow offensively. Alex Potak with a 34-yard field goal. Only scoring of the first half was that play. Both teams averaging less than four yards per play in the first half. Third quarter, goals come out swinging. Dondre Dennis, 12-yard touchdown, 10 to nothing goals. The next drive for the goals, check this out. Oh, Brady nice Curley going to get the pitch and hit the sideline. and He's going into me. the end zone. 17 to nothing would be the lead. CNU would respond with the touchdown and they would try to make it a one score game in the fourth quarter. Check this out. Dropping back. Great pressure by the Salisbury University defense. That's a great play. And the pass is broken up. Great job by the D to hold one of the most offense, explosive offenses, which is just seven points. Salisbury goes on to win it by a final of 17 to seven. Three nothing at halftime. We knew that we haven't even scratched the surface offensively. So we just told the kids, just continue to believe in what's called and just make sure we execute because we felt that they, they would run out of gas a little bit. And uh, we just felt defensively, we made some great plays and we can continue that. We thought things would go our way. Do you see that stat trait? 17 and two for Coach Wood yeah. in the homecoming games. Pretty Greatness. impressive. Also an impressive team, the Wesley Wolverines got a win in a top 20 matchup yesterday, defeating number 11 Frostburg State by three, 27-24 in overtime. Wow, that's yeah, huge. this was a pretty great game. Wesley actually blocked a field goal in overtime to take the victory, seal that one up. Wolverines moved to four and one on the season, including four straight. Uh, we're talking about wins. We're not talking about this team. The mm -hmm. Delaware State Hornets. Fell to the North Carolina A&T Aggies. DSU drops to 0-5 on the season. They are still looking for their first victory since November of 2015. Coach Carter, if you're watching, get in that win column. Yeah. We really hope you do. All right, that'll do it for our college football wrap. Coming up, we head to the Monster Mile. NASCAR returned to Dover last weekend. We've got the recap on DSI coming up next. We are the Golden Knights, and you're watching the Marvel Sports Insider.